new videos every day. Hi, I'm Jen Hillman, and today I'm gonna demonstrate some Swedish massage techniques for the head, shoulders, and neck. So, working the neck is an area that doesn't really require a lot of oil, and a lot of people don't really appreciate getting a lot of oil in their hair. So if I use any oil at all, it's just barely enough to lubricate my own hands. Just a tiny little bit, just to make my hands soft and smooth. So just placing my hands on the tops of her shoulders, I'll just gently use a walking motion to press the shoulders away from the ears, helping to create a little bit of length through the traps. I'm just starting to open up some movement. Then scooping my fingers underneath the curve in her neck can start to get a nice grip on the base of her head. Just leaning the weight of my body back will start to create some traction for her neck. And even though it doesn't look like I'm doing very much, by maintaining this steady traction, it allows for a slow and gentle stretch in between each of the vertebrae in the neck. And as I release that tension, I'll use my left hand to cradle her head as I turn her chin towards the left. And this exposes the right side of the neck so I can do some work here. So I'll go in with my thumb starting at the base of the neck and trace the lines of the scalenes. Moving all the way down to the top of the shoulder. It's important to note here that when people have a lot of tension in their neck, sometimes these muscles can be very sensitive. So it's important that you are mindful about the amount of pressure that you're using. You don't want to hurt the person you're with, but give just enough pressure that they can experience a sensation and that you're helping to flush out lactic acid and wastes that get built up in the tissue as a result of tightness and tension. You can also use the flat part of the knuckle to massage into the entire side of the neck all at once. Using my four fingers, can reach towards the back of her neck and locate her spine so I find out where those spinal vertebrae are right along the neck. 
And coming just to the right side, I can get into those muscles there, right at the back of the neck. And I can trace the line all the way up to the base of the skull. Oftentimes, people that suffer from headache tension will experience a lot of tightness through the occipitals here at the base of the skull. So I can go in with my hand, finding that base of the skull there, and I use my thumb to just trace that muscular line moving from the ear in towards the spine. And this is another moment that you would be glad to have just a little bit of oil on the hands so you can glide over the tiny hairs at the back of the neck. You want to try and avoid pulling these hairs because it's a painful sensation that will take away from the relaxing feeling of massaging these muscles. can also use the four fingers to just tuck in at the base of the skull and just make some small circles. And again, I'll note for people with extremely tight necks and a lot of tension, this can be very sensitive. So just be mindful with your partner. Again, I'll scoop my hand underneath the curve of her neck to bring her head back to center. And exploring a little bit of mobility here. With the head fully and safely cradled with both hands, can start to drag one ear towards the shoulder, creating a nice stretch and opening And then drawing the head in the opposite direction towards the other shoulder. And if you bring your hands in a more lateral position on the head, kind of cradling the head evenly between both hands. You can start to create a figure eight with the head. You rotate the chin and create a stretch. Rotate in the opposite direction. Move the head towards the shoulder. Just about everyone I know loves a good head massage. So you can go in with your fingertips and your thumbs and just 
apply some nice pressure as you massage all around the skull. I also like to go in with my thumbs and just gently place a little bit of pressure as I outline the hairline. And again, you don't have to use too much pressure but just enough to give a little squeeze. And then using my two peace fingers, I like to go into the temples, just that soft spot on either side of the eyes, and make some nice gentle circles. This can also be tremendous relief for people who have headaches, and it can be sensitive. Normally when giving a full massage and working a full sequence, I would go in and work the opposite side of the neck. Again, outlining the scalenes, working there, working into the back of the neck, getting into those muscles, as well as working the occipital muscles at the base of the skull. So go ahead and replay this video so you can practice working on the other side and get a chance to practice those stretching techniques I demonstrated in the figure eight and give a little more scalp massage, which feels amazing. And go ahead and thumbs up this video and favorite it so you can come back and practice lots of times and share this information with your friends. And leave me a comment about how this video has been helpful for you. You can visit my website, jenhillmantherapeutictouch.com so you can learn more about me and my practice. And don't forget to subscribe to our Psyche Truth channel so you can have access to my full library of massage, yoga, and stretch videos. Thanks for watching.